Hi everyone, it's Debbie from the Astley Public Library Children's Room. Welcome back to I Heart Art. I know there is a lot going on in the world right now, and maybe you're looking for a way that you can have a positive impact. So today we're going to be looking at an artist known for his posters, and you'll learn how to make your own protest poster. Bob and Roberta Smith is the name that British artist, writer, author, musician, and educator Patrick Brill uses when he creates his art. He's known for his slogan art. He's also an art professor and curates public art shows. According to Brill, the idea behind the name Bob and Roberta Smith is that anyone can be Bob and Roberta Smith and anyone can create their own art. Here's a poster made by Bob and Roberta Smith. Take a look at it. What do you notice? Why do you think he made it? And what do you think he means? You may have guessed that this poster is called Art Makes Children Powerful. This one is from a 2013 art show. According to Bob and Roberta Smith, the show is about education and how to take art more seriously. He is clearly a strong believer in art education. Okay, let's make some art. Here's what you'll need. You'll need paper. Heavy paper works better than light paper for this project. Paint markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything at all you have you can color with. A cardboard tube, at least one, maybe two, and tape. If you're working with lighter paper, you may need to use two cardboard tubes. Step one, think about what you want your message to be. What issues are important to you? That's what your poster should be about. But don't forget to keep the message positive. Step two, draw the message on your paper. Try to make it fill most of the space. You might want to make the letters interesting, but also make sure that they are easy to read. You can experiment with different styles of writing. You might want to try that before you start writing on your actual poster. Just remember, keep it simple enough that it can be read. Step three, paint or color in the letters and the background. Think about the colors you use. Think about how they contrast. You want to make it both colorful and eye-catching. Step four, tape the cardboard tube to the back of your poster. Again, if you're working with light paper, you can use two cardboard tubes. You just put one on either end so that you can keep it from flopping around. This is how you're going to hold up your poster. And that's it. Thank you to the Tate Museum for Kids art page. And that was where the inspiration came from. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's art project and would love to see what you've made. You can post a photo of your art on the library's Facebook page or you can email it to us at oplkids at wlsmail.org. And now that school has ended, we wanted you to know that summer reading at the library has started. It will look a little bit different this year than usual, but it's still happening. You can get all the information by going to our website, www.osninglibrary.org, and clicking on Summer Reading under the Kids page. Happy reading and happy summer!